Hello, I welcome you all in this presentation related with the subject fundamentals of the manufacturing processes and uh, we are talking about the pattern allowances and uh, in the previous lecture I have talked about the shrinkage allowance. Now we will see other allowances which are normally given to the patterns so that uh, desired size and shape can be achieved uh, in the casting and so other allowances like draft allowance. Uh, machining allowance shake allowance and uh, distortion allowance distortion allowance uh, these are somewhat uh, simpler allowances if we see uh, like when we make uh, the uh, mold, sand mold of uh, like say pattern, a very simple shape pattern, this is shape pattern of wood. So around this we will be packing the molding sand all around using the flask. So uh, the boundary is there of the flask and this is the foundation say or it may be the board also. So actually sand is packed all around the pattern uh, using the proper ramming and once the ramming is over and uh, the molding sand has taken the shape of the pattern, normally the pattern is taken off by uh, shaking it properly. So basically uh, when the pattern is taken off after the, uh, the ramming, uh, the vertical surfaces of the uh, mold having the um, sand and it has uh, packed properly, then when the pattern is removed, these vertical surfaces, vertical surfaces have tendency to get damaged or broken. So, the breaking or damaging tendency of the vertical surfaces of the mold it is, is more especially when the pattern is taken off or withdrawn in order to get the desired the mold cavity. So, while withdrawing if the pattern damages the vertical surfaces then it will be changing the shape. This change in shape uh, will be leading to the uh, defective casting as well as uh, unnecessary wastage of the material. So, if the material has been removed like this from the vertical surfaces, then unnecessary the shape of the KUT will be modified. So, to avoid this kind of the damage, uh, especially of the vertical surfaces, the draft allowance is given. Under this draft allowance is given a by tapering the vertical surfaces, tapering is given to the vertical surfaces and this tapering uh, uh, can be of like say 1 to 3 degrees with respect to the vertical plane and depending upon the, uh, the location of the vertical surface whether it is external or internal the magnitude of the distortion allowance in terms of the degrees can vary. Uh, uh, in addition to that the, uh, uh, the type of the metal uh, which is being used also affects the type of the metal or type of uh, pattern material also affects the uh, draft allowance. So, if we see uh, here. Uh, the, for different materials and for the different surfaces, the draft allowance magnitude varies in terms of the degrees. So, if we here have the type of the material, material of pattern, uh, which can be of, of course, wood. Uh, which can be of the metal and the plastic. 
and we know that uh, the dimensions uh, the, uh, also will be affecting the magnitude of the draft allowance to be given. So, it is basically allowance or the draft allowance which is given. So, uh, depending upon the location of the surface uh, whether it is external or internal the vertical surface is internal. For example, uh, like uh, this is the component and having the internal hole like this. So, these vertical surfaces are the internal surfaces while the external these are the external surfaces. So, internal surfaces are always given more uh, draft allowance as compared to the external surfaces because tendency for damage in case of the internal surfaces is found to be more than the external surfaces and that is why and another thing is the extent of the magnitude or means the dimension greater is the uh, length or the linear dimension of the component or of the pattern greater will be the draft allowance which is given. So, it is affected by the size also. So, the draft allowance which is given say in case of the wood uh, and uh, so that is what we will see uh, for wood external surfaces are given uh, uh, the draft allowance in the range of 0.5 to 3 degrees while for internal surfaces 0.5 so for external it is 0.25 to 3 degrees for external it is 0.5 to 3 degrees in case of the wood for metals it is 0 0.35 to the 1.5 degrees while in case of the internal surfaces it is 0 0.5 to 3 degrees. Uh, for the plastics uh, it is 0 0.25 to the 1. So, the minimum draft allowance is given to the plastics because they offer smoother surfaces withdrawing is easier while in case of the, uh, the internal surface 0 0.35 to the 2.25 degrees. So, for internal surfaces always higher magnitude of the draft allowance is given. Now, we consider uh, the same example here uh, if the vertical surfaces like the dimension uh, this uh, dimension is 100 2.1 mm as we have uh, calculated in case of the uh, wood wooden pattern as determined in the last uh, example related with the shrinkage allowance and if here is the hole of the 80 mm which was required. So, the 87 let us say uh, this as calculated from the uh, uh, shrinkage allowance after the calculation say this dimension is coming 81 point. 7. So, what we need to do is uh, and uh, this uh, dimension is 206. So, what is needed uh, for uh, we need to calculate the now the draft allowance. So, for calculating the draft allowance basically for internal surfaces internal surfaces what we need to do uh, this is the internal surface and how it will be given uh, the in case of the external surfaces uh, taper will be uh, like this uh, and in case of the internal since this is the hole so in case of the internal surfaces tapering is given differently. So, how it is given that is what 
I will be making maybe I will make the separate diagram for uh, this purpose. So, this is the kind of taper given for the internal. and this is the kind of taper given to the external. So, uh, so this uh, can vary uh, as per the case 1 degree or 0.5 degree or 1.5 degree anything uh, as per the, uh, the metal of the pattern to be made and uh, this uh, can be 2 degree, 1 degree or 3 degrees as per the uh, metal of the uh, pattern. So, internal surfaces will be having the higher taperness as compared to the external surface. So, basically what we need to uh, do this uh, for giving this tapering, uh, we need to change the magnitude here say this was of the 180 dimension. So, this much magnitude is to be identified earlier if it was uh, 1 uh, 81.7. So, this dimension need to be increased. And so, for giving the internal um, uh, for internal and external for giving the external tapering uh, what we need to do is uh, let us say external uh, allowance external allowance. external allowance the dimension is 102.7 multiplied by 10 1 degree say 1 degree is the external allowance being given. So, we will be writing the 1 and the value is coming out to be like say 1.786. So, this is say equivalent to on the safer side 1. 8 mm. So, the taper of the 1.8 mm is given on this side and similarly on the other side. Uh, now, coming to the uh, coming to the uh, internal allowance, the taper need to be given on the internal surface. So, since the height is same. So, the 102.7 multiplied by 10 of 3 degrees, say 3 degrees is the internal taper to be given. So, that is dimension is coming out to 5.35. So, considering this 5.4 as equivalent value on the safer, uh, safer side. So, uh, the taper is of given is given of the 5.4 this side. So, that the degree of uh, 3 degree taper can be obtained and similarly it is given on the other side like this. So, this uh, one is of uh, 5.4 mm. So, more uh, taper is needed. So, here this is of the 1.8, this is of 1.8 and this is of 5.4 uh, tape for the internal surfaces. So, more taper need to be given. So, when the, the tapering is done in this manner, so, uh, when we withdraw the pattern, uh, these, uh, uh, this taperness uh, given to the vertical surfaces will help to avoid the damage to the vertical uh, surfaces uh, of the sand mold, so that we can get the casting of the desired size and shape. Now, coming to the uh, machining allowance, uh, machining Uh, we know that the the, uh, the castings which are made from the sand mold casting or from the die castings they are quite rough and they uh, cannot be used for many uh, um, applications. So, it is required that since the as castings in as cast condition castings are uh, castings are not that finished surface finish is not that good and uh, accurate in terms of the dimensions. 
So, these are the two main issues that are related with the cast components. So, if the final finished casting is needed of uh, like say 100 into 100. So, actually uh, this is rough and the dimensions may vary due to the variety of regions like uh, 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 distortion or extra dimensions. So, this uh, so what we do uh, basically to have the exactly desired uh, dimensions and desired finish some extra material is given to the uh, to the casting and provision for that is made in pattern. So, patterns are basically made of the larger size. The machining allowance is a in that way a positive allowance which is used for giving the extra dimensions to the uh, uh, pattern so that the mold of the larger size can be made and accordingly the casting of the larger size can be prepared. So, this extra material which is uh, which is given by providing the this extra uh, metal which is provided in the casting by providing the machining allowance, uh, this uh, is used basically for machining purpose. So, during the machining we take off all this unwanted material in form of uh, the rougher which is uh, the external layer having the rougher surface and it will also help to achieve the very close control control over the dimensions as well as finish. So, to achieve the desired finish and the dimensions it is, that it is necessary that some extra amount of the material is provided to the castings. So, that it can be machined out in order to achieve the desired finish and the control over the dimensions. So, that it can be used for the purpose for which uh, the casting is has been made or the component has been made through the casting route and therefore, uh, cast uh, machining allowance is provided uh, to the pattern so that the casting can be made of the larger dimensions. Uh, the machining allowance actually depends upon the size of casting 1 and the type of the metal, type of metal of casting. Uh, it, it, is, uh, it is very common to assume that if the casting is of the larger size, so obviously the machining allowance is to be given more uh, as compared to the castings of the finer size or smaller sizes. On the other hand, if the cast, uh, uh, if the casting is made of the uh, like the metals like cast iron, then more allowances are given uh, as compared to the other metals like the steels and uh, non-ferrous metals. So, I will be writing about the kind of uh, machining allowance which is given for the different metals as well as how does it change uh, with the size of casting. So, if we see here cast irons when the cast iron made of the dimension size of the casting is 300 or in this range of like say 300 to 350 or 500 or no, it is in uh, greater than the uh, or it is 500 to 900. So, when the, uh, it is in mm dimensions are in mm. So, the kind of allowance which is uh, uh, which is given to the surfaces it is uh, it's like uh, for uh, internal surfaces uh, it is more obviously as compared to the external surfaces. So, for internal surfaces for the cast iron having the size up to uh, is uh, 3 mm and it is up to 5 mm for uh, internal surfaces like bores and uh, 6 mm for uh, up to 900 while that is for 3 mm, 4 mm and 5 mm for the external surfaces. In the same way castings made of the cast steels uh, for the size up to 150 mm, size uh, uh, 150 to up to 500 mm. Uh, so, 150 to the 500 mm and uh, 500 to 900 mm. 
so the inter draft allow uh, sorry machining allowance for the internal surfaces is uh, is like 3 mm 6 mm and 7 mm for internal surfaces and for external surfaces it is 3 mm 5.5 mm and uh, it is 6 mm uh, similarly uh, for the non ferrous metals in the same way non ferrous metals like aluminum magnesium copper etc uh, for the dimensions up to 200 mm for uh, uh, up to 300 200 to 300 mm and dimensions up to 900 mm 300 to 900 mm how the dam, uh, the machining allowance for internal and for the external surfaces will be changing so to see that uh, it is uh, given somewhat lesser in amount 2 mm uh, for internal surfaces up to 200 mm then 2.5 mm and then 3 mm uh, for uh, internal surfaces and for external surfaces it is 1.5 1.5 and 1.5 so for non ferrous metals somewhat lesser machining allowance is given as compared to that of the cast iron and the steel so uh, if the casting is uh, made of a particular metal uh, of particular dimensions then how the machining allowance is given so uh, if uh, if we have got some dimensions after providing the shrinkage allowance and the draft allowance the dimensions are like uh, 110 and uh, uh, 50 mm uh, in that case to provide how to provide the machining allowance say this is uh, 60 mm after providing the necessary allowances the diameter is 60 mm so to provide the machining allowance assuming that 2 mm uh, is for the 2 mm for the internal or uh, say external 2 mm for external surfaces and uh, uh, 4 mm is for internal surfaces so in that case uh, what we need to do 4 mm material is to be provided extra uh, on this vertical surface as well as on this vertical surface so for that purpose basically if this is the final size of the hole which is required then the 4 mm material is to be added this side and 4 mm material is to be added this side so as a result 4 plus 4 this will be lead, so the, there will be addition two sides so basically it will be leading to the 8 mm so we need to reduce the size of hole basically 60 minus 8 so the hole uh, will be made uh, means pattern or the core will be made of the mm, 52 mm if we have to provide the machining allowance on the internal surface on the other hand uh, if uh, it is to be provided on the external surface the extra material is to be provided so 110 uh, plus the external surfaces to um, this side 2 into 2 to the vertical sides and similarly uh, for this 50 plus 2 into 2 so here it will be 54 this dimension and this dimension uh, will be 114 mm after providing the machining allowance so in case of the internal features like holes uh, the dimension of the hole will be reduced to provide the extra material so that it can be machined out during the machining and in case of the external surfaces it will be added to the and dimensions on the external side so the basically the size of the pattern will be increased while in case of the internal surfaces size of the pattern or size of the core will be reduced to provide the extra material to the internal surfaces so that during the machining it can be taken care of then coming to the draft allowance oh sorry uh, it is not draft allowance, uh, a shake allowance. Uh, basically, shake allowance is a negative allowance uh, 
uh, we know that to understand this we need to just see the simple thing uh, like when uh, the pattern has been packed uh, uh, in the flask. Uh, so, after proper ramming of the sand around the pattern, uh, we need to take out the pattern. So, this packing actually uh, ramming uh, of the sand around the pattern will be leading to the firm gripping of the pattern with the mold. So, uh, when we take it out to in order to take the pattern out of the mold, uh, we need to loosen it. So, for loosening purpose, we have to shake it. So, basically hammering is done, light hammering is done using the mallet that is the wooden hammer, uh, little bit hammering is done sidewise so that the pattern inside the mold can be loosened. So, once the pattern is loosened, it can be taken out uh, out of the mold without damaging the vertical surfaces. So, when shaking up of the pattern is done, when shaking up of the pattern is done, basically uh, it uh, moves the walls, vertical walls as well as the horizontal walls slightly away by enlarging the size of the enlarging size of the mold cavity. So, basically uh, due to the shaking uh, of the pattern in order to loosen it into the mold so that it can be taken out easily without damaging the, uh, the internal features as well as surfaces, uh, the shaking leads to the enlargement of the size of the cavity and that is why if you have to consider this aspect then the pattern need to be made of the little bit smaller in size as compared to what is needed. Uh, uh, in, in the final size of the casting. So, basically this is negative allowance and based on the experience the suitable value of the negative allowance uh, or the shake allowance is given. Uh, last is now mm, uh, distortion allowance. Uh, distortion allowance uh, uh, actually, uh, when the molten metal uh, solidifies uh, and uh, after the solidification, uh, casting starts to cool down from the high temperature to the room temperature. Since the castings have the, the different uh, sizes, shapes, dimensions, so, this difference in size, shape and dimensions leads to the different cooling rates in the different zones of the casting. So, the different components or different parts of the castings may be, may be cooling at the different rates. So, differential cooling leads to the differential contraction also, differential contraction uh, or we can say differential shrinkage. So, this differential shrinkage especially when the uh, length of the uh, section is high and the thickness of the section is less means the system is less of the less rigidity. So, under such conditions differential cooling uh, rate and differential contractions leads to the uh, the uh, means the undesirable change in shape of the casting in shape of the casting which basically appears in form of the wrapping of the casting or the casting getting out of the shape. So, uh, like say if we have to make the U shape product then the, the vertical surfaces of uh, which are not that rigid uh, these may go outward or these may go. Uh, inward. So, according to the tendency of the casting we need to make, we need to give the opposite dimensions. If the vertical surface is getting outward then in the pattern is uh, made by, by giving some negative uh, features. So, that uh, after the uh, shrinkage it uh, gains the only the shape which is desired. So, since it was going outward we will be making the negative allowance 
in this case means the, uh, the pattern is modified in such a way that after the shrinkage you get the casting of the desired size. So, basically uh, depending upon the tendency of the uh, distortion or the depending upon the way by which the casting shape is getting distorted, uh, the suitable uh, provision is made so that uh, the shrinkage can be used uh, favorably in order to get in order to get the casting of the desired size and shape. So, for that purpose the distortion allowance is given. So, now I will summarize this presentation. In this presentation I have talked about the four types of the allowances and these allowances are incorporated suitably in the pattern so that the final casting of the desired size and shape can be achieved. Thank you for your attention.